Hi there, this is Diecast Channel and in this video I'm going to do a review on some 1 to 64 pickup trucks made by Greenlight and Auto World. So if you like those pickup trucks, stay with me to the end of this video because we're going to do a very nice review on very nice trucks. And also don't forget to subscribe, to give me a thumbs up and click the bell for news. So let's take a look at them. First pickup I'm going to show is this 1975 Ford F100. That's a black banded die cast collection made in 1 to 64 scale by Greenlight. And we can see that's a very nice casting. It's a brand new casting, very good detail, and very good quality. Looking a little closer, we can see it's about the same thing, almost the same thing of that 1973 Walking Dead pickup I've shown in a 1 to 18 scale. It's got the bumper guards and the front looks very nice. The trim and detail, the interior, steering wheel and dashboard, the rear window and the rear end look very nice. So it's very good detailing in this truck. And the base is a metal base with a good quality. Second model is this other 1975. That's uh, Hobby Shop Collection by Greenlight in a 1 to 64 scale. It's a very nice and detailed pickup. It's about the same thing of that black band that I've shown before. This pickup came with a set set of wheels and tires and a couple axles. They are exactly the ones, uh, they are exactly like those wheels and tires that are in the truck, so I'm not going to change them. I'm just going to keep them for, for another custom I'm working on that I'm going to soon show in one of my videos. It's a very nice looking truck, so we're going to take a closer look at it. Looking a little closer to the 1975 pickup, it really resembles the 1973, just some slight differences. The grill and the trim, the fur logo, and all details are very well made in a 3 inches long, 3 inch long pickup only. It's a 1 to 64. Interior, Steering wheel and interior looks very nice. And the rear end with those tail lights they're painted on, but they really look like acrylic pieces. The tail hitch and the base, that's made of metal. This looks very nice. Now we have a 1976 pickup truck. That's also a Ford pickup truck that looks fantastic, really. It's made by Green Light and the Hobby Exclusive Collection. And this truck really looks amazing in a 1 to 64 scale. We can see it's slightly different from 1975 because grill and headlights are different. Looking a little closer we can see that's a different front end and grill. That's 1976 and 1975. We can notice the differences. There are slight differences but they're different. There are no bumper guards as well. The pickup is basically the same. The wheels and tires with the wheel covers look very nice. There's an eagle on the side and the interior made in black looks very nice with a steering wheel and a dashboard in a 1 to 64 scale. Windshield wipers and a bed and a rear end with no tow hitch. It's metal base as well and very nice wheels and tires. This 1977 Ford F100, that's a Macum Auctions pickup truck made by Greenlight on the 1 to 64 scale as well. It looks really very nice and there's not much of a difference from 1976 and 1977. The grill is almost the same. There are bumper guards in this 1977 one, but I don't know if it's a version because this truck has got more trim than the 1976 one, so I would say that's a little more luxurious than that one. And it's probably an XLT. And this truck really looks nice. It's got a shorter bed, so that's uh, just an option. It's not really from one year to the other one. We're going to put them both side by side so we can check it out. 77 and 76. They're almost the same, just the blinkers are different. 
and the red one is the blinkers are orange and the other one the blinkers are white that's probably the cast and not really the real truck and the bumper guards but they are basically the same it's very well detailed different wheel covers there's a trim on the side Explorer logo and a rear end with a four trim and tail lights. All three pickups, 75 with the rails, the light red with rails, the 76 is a blue one, and the 77 is a dark red one with a short bed. We can almost notice no difference from 1976 to 1977, but the 1975 to 1976, the differences are clear, I would say. They all look very nice, and they are basically the same trucks. There are two 1979 trucks. The white one is an F250 and the silver one is an F100. The white one is an all-terrain pickup and the other one is a hobby exclusive. Hobby exclusive. These two trucks are almost the same. Um, perhaps it's F250 as a heavier duty truck than the F100. And they have problems with different engines, different transmissions, but the trucks are basically the same. You have lung pads, and the big difference between the 1979 and the other trucks I've shown before is the front grille that's different. This grille is actually the same as 1978, but 1978's got different headlights, and the headlights are rounded instead of being rectangular, like this one. I hope Green Light is going to put a 1971 in the market. That's not really hard to produce. 1979 truck. It's basically that's a 1979 grill. That's different. It's basically the same as 1978, but with different headlights. Uh, 1978 are rounded. And this looks really very nice. They got the same lines of 1973 to 1978 rear end looks very nice and the other 1979 it's basically the same thing front end both the side and the rear end it's a heavier duty truck Ford Explorer this is a 1969 Ford F100 that's a hitch and tow collection with this farm trailer that's used for carrying hay and stuff like that in the farm. This really looks very nice and we can hitch this trailer to a tractor, to a pickup truck, just like this one. And there are those two wooden boards on the side of the bed, so you can take a little more load on it. This, uh, I've shown this truck before, but in a different version with a long bed, just like this one. 69 and 79 side by side. They're both lung pads and they have almost the same lines, although there was a facelift from 73 on. And 1979 is the last year of this kind of pickup truck. Trailer, that's very well detailed. It's all made in plastic. It looks like metal, but it's really very well made in plastic. You can see the wood floor inside. It looks very realistic. Those doors are fixed, but this actually tilts. So you can load it up. 69 truck. That's almost the same as that one I've shown before. It is F100. It's got an opening hood. You can pop it open and see the V8 engine. And a very nice white interior. And it's a white and green interior, just matching the outside. And those two wooden boards right here side by side and a, and a bad and a long bed and a four trim in the rear with a tow hitch looks very nice it's got a metal base which is good last but not least this 1973 Chevrolet Ch Chiang fleet side that's made in a 1 to 64 scale by Auto World and this is a real 1961 to 64 scale it's a very nice pickup truck and it's also very unique and very interesting because there are very few 
diecast makers that actually make the 1973 on pickup trucks. I've only seen Hot Wheels so far, and it was not very good, really. I've seen a Matchbox, which is looks a little bit better, but it seems to be out of scale. But this one is really outstanding. It's also in a new casting for Auto World that the only that has only made El Camino's as pickups so far, and that's the Chevy. Looking a little bit closer, we can see the grill with a bow tie, and the opening hood with a very nice engine. Looks like a 350. I'm not quite sure of it. Giant logo, white stripe on the side. The interior that looks very nice and very realistic. The bed and the rear end with a Chevrolet trim. Tailgate tilts. This is very nice. And a metal base with a lot of detail in it. Rating those pickups from 0 to 10, I would give them all a 10. The green light ones and the Auto World one. They're very nice, they're very well produced and they reproduce the real ones very well. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe, to give me a thumbs up, to click, click the bell for news, and also let me know in your comments what you think about this video and about the trucks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.